Hi guys, how are you doing? Okay, this time I will try to explain Hooke's law. This is new topic in physics. And first of all, I will explain the, or I will show you the formula. Elastic force. We're going to talk about springs, about sponges, about um, rubber bands. Okay, every single object that can change the um, original condition of its form example this rubber band that you see over here okay now um, now to calculate Hooke's law we're gonna need k uh, this k that means spring constant and it's going to be given in Newton per meter that's an n x which means displacement now how are you going to apply this for example if you have a problem that tells you find the elastic force apply it da -da 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 -da, so you will apply this formula what if I ask you to find displacement or the spring constant now these are the two equations already isolated according to the type of question now um, in Hooke's law, we're going to have a, a situation that we're going to call the equilibrium position. That is like uh, right here at rest. The object at rest, not being stretched, not being uh, compressed neither. So um, I'm going to show you something. So this is our first condition. The object at rest. So I can see that as, I, as it is at rest I don't have any displacement. I'm going to do it here. Okay? As it is at rest I don't have any displacement. So what I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure the beginning and the end of where my my spring has been applied the force. Now, take a look here my equilibrium position is right here at 12.8 centimeters if I stretch it I will have a positive displacement because I'm doing I'm stretching the rubber band now if I apply compression I will be compressing the rubber band so my displacement will be negative so what happens if I apply um, an stretching force? So at rest is at, at this point at 12.8 centimeters. So I start stretching the rubber band, and now I say, oh, by how much centimeters I apply my did I stretch the the rubber band? Okay, it was increased by seven centimeters. So my displacement will be positive seven centimeters. Okay, so it was here at rest, and then I stretch it by seven centimeters. What if I I apply compression like here? So initially it was like this. Initially it was like that. Okay, so I started to apply compression until I got to that point. So, my displacement, as it is compression, I will consider it to be negative. Therefore, this displacement was negative 7.3 centimeters. Remember, this was the original position. So, this is basically what we're going to consider when we're talking about... Um, objects that are being stretched or compressed. Now what if I have an object that is going to be let's say that this is an object that is hanging from a from a spring. Okay, as this is the position at rest and if I apply a weight it's going to stretch more. So by how much it was stretched that is going to be my displacement and according to the displacement and the condition of the rubber band which is, which is the spring constant that will help us to calculate the elastic force now let's do a, 
um, practice example, the first one. This topic is part of simple harmonic motion. Sample problem A, you can find it in you can find it in um, the page 366. If a mass of 55 kilograms attached to a vertical spring stretches the spring 2 centimeters from its original equilibrium position, what is the spring constant? So we're talking about an object that has a mass of 0.55 kilograms and this was the equilibrium position that we talked before so when I apply the mass I stretch the spring by how much? 2 centimeters like we did here, okay? it was like this and I stretch it by how much? by 2 centimeters so first of all as we already have the um, the main equation. I'm gonna leave it over here. As we already have the main equation over there, I say, okay, to calculate my elastic force, what do I need? I need spring constant. Do I have it? No. I'm looking for it. It says, what is the spring constant? So that is going to be my unknown. So I know that my constant is unknown now what is the exercise given to me a mass of 0.55 kilograms but you might be wondering Hooke's law doesn't involve mass and probably you are wrong why because uh, we need uh, we have elastic force that is involved and the elastic force if you can see here I consider an object and an object always has a mass and if the object has a mass it has a force and that force we call it weight remember that don't forget weight equals mass times gravity so even if we don't have the force if we have the mass we can calculate the force now what else do we have it says the vertical spring stretches 2 centimeters so we have the displacement so we're going to start writing all the givens we have a mass of 0 0.55 kilogram and we're going to calculate its weight because its weight will lead me to the force to the elastic force okay now 2 centimeters is the displacement it says C centimeters. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. Okay. So if I want to calculate the spring constant, we just isolate for K. Or as I already showed you the formulas before, we can use the one already isolated for K and we say solution. K or spring constant equals to the elastic force divided by negative displacement the elastic force we said is the same as the weight what's the weight? mass times gravity Okay, so we have a weight divided by negative x or negative displacement um, weight as it's going down we know that we have um, negative times 0.55 times 9.81 0.55 negative times 9.81 divided by 2 negative so the spring constant gave me 2.60 Nine seven Newton meter if you want to round it that will be your final answer now let's do another example sample problem 2 a 76 creek is hung from a spring 
which has a spring tungsten of 450 Nm. How much displacement is caused by the weight of this crate? Now, first of all, you might be wondering what a crate is. A crate is not nothing more than a, a box like this. Okay. Now, first of all, I always recommend to do a drawing, like I did over there. Okay, let's read the problem and let's get the givens. 76 uh, Newton is, of course, the, the elastic force. Remember, as the exercise before, the weight was the elastic force. Now, it's going, now this time, spring constant K is 450 Newton meter. What do I need to find? I need to find displacement. So delta x is unknown. So the equation that we use to calculate delta x, as it's not the main equation, is this one. Okay? Delta x or x equals elastic force divided by negative the spring constant. So we say solution delta x equals elastic force divided by negative k elastic force which is given is 76 newton divided by negative k which is negative 450 newton meter remember the elastic force is equal to the weight as it is the weight we're going to consider the force to be negative. And now here, we're going to have um, a division, 0 0.17, oh gosh. meters. This is my displacement. So, you can say this means the, um, the spring was stretched by how much? By 17 centimeters or 0.17 meters. That's what actually means. So you can actually answer the question and say the spring was stretched seventeen centimeters or zero point seventeen meters. That's how you can and uh, how you can conclude your answer. Okay, so to explain better these exercises like um, we had a spring initially at rest. Then uh, the crate was applied Remember, when it's at rest, it's in, it's in, a, in the equ equilibrium position. So when you apply the crate, because of its weight of 76 Newton, it causes the spring to stretch. Ouch. By how much? That's what we found. By 0 0.17 meters. Sorry about it. I forgot to turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay, let's continue with the sample problem. Three spring, uh, which has a constant spring constant of 1,862 Newton per meter, loses its elasticity if it is stretched more than 50 centimeters. What is the mass of the heaviest object the spring can support without being damaged? Now. Remember in the first exercise what I told you. There's a no place for the mass in Hooke's law because it doesn't say mass. But if I give you the mass like I did, I gave you the mass, I said, okay, if we have the mass, we can get the weight. And that weight is going to be the elastic force. So we're going to do the same here. But in this case, we're looking for this mass. So remember, we need to consider the formula to calculate weight. 
Now, um, let's write the givens. A spring constant, we have K equals 1962 Newton per meter. And we have um, displacement of 50 centimeters. So delta X is 50 centimeters. As it is in centimeters, you have to do the conversion to meters. That's not a problem for you, so you know that this is 0.5 meters. And we need to find mass. This is my unknown. But I know that mass is not part of the formula, but I can get it from the elastic force. So, uh, when looking for the elastic force, basically, I will use the main equation for Hooke's law that says elastic force equals negative spring constant times displacement. Solution elastic force equals negative K times delta X. negative 1,962 Newton per meter times 0.5 meters. If this is in centimeters, you cannot cancel the units. That's why we always do the conversion when possible. So we multiply negative 900 81 meters and meters were cancelled, so we're going to have Newton. Now, this is the elastic force, but what is the elastic force? It's the same as the weight. Now, remember weight, as it's going downward, we're going to consider the symbol. Negative mass times gravity equals negative 981 Newton. Isolate for mass. Mass is going to be negative 900. 81 Newton divided by negative gravity. Now, you divide this, 181 divided by negative 9.81, going to have 100. 100 kilograms. So, which is the heaviest object the spring could support? As heavy as 100 kilograms. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the class, or if not, at least that you have learned something. And remember, if you have any doubt, you can send me a message, and I'll be open for you. Thank you.